All right, this is number four from the 2012 Calc AB exam, and uh, it's a problem where you're just given a function and asked to do a couple things. It's actually not a very bad problem. Um, so that's the function we're given. It's actually given as a radical, but um, as you've probably noticed, radicals are not all that useful when you're doing calculus. So we change it to a rational exponent, and uh, part of M just has to find f prime of x. So that's a chain rule problem. So bring down the exponent. So it's one half that thing, subtract 1, so to the negative 1 half, times the derivative of that thing, so times negative 2x. And then I'm just going to clean it up because I assume I'm going to have to use it soon. Alright, so that was literally part A of this question. Uh, part B is asking us to write the equation of a tangent line to f of x at um, negative 3. So we need to know f of negative 3 which uh, is radical 25 minus 9, so that's going to be radical 16 or 4. And we need to know f prime, which I'm just copying from the previous section. So we get that, and f prime of negative 3 will be um, negative of negative 3 over square root of 25 minus 9, and that gives us 3 fourths. Then we write the equation in point slope form, and we'll be on to the next part. And there you go. Alright, for the next part, um, we're given this new function, g of x and asked about continuity. Um, so, write it down. All right, so we need to know the definition of continuity, which means that the limit exists, the function exists, and the limit equals the value of the function. I'm gonna look at left and right hand limits here. So to start with, the limit as x approaches negative three from the left of g of x is, uh, so the branch of g of x to the left of negative three is f of x. So that's the limit as x approaches negative three from the left of f of x, which I already know, but I'm going to keep showing some work because I'm not sure uh, what I'm allowed to not show. So that's the limit as x approaches negative 3 from the left of radical 25 minus x squared, which I know is 4. And that actually equals um, g of negative 3 by definition. Uh, if you look at the inequalities of the definition of g of x. So we know the limit as x approaches negative 3 from the left and the value at negative 3, so we just need the limit as we approach from the right. And we're kind of hoping that we get 4, but it won't really make a difference. I mean, it'll make a difference to our answer, but, you know, we don't have a vested interest in this. So negative 3 from the right of x plus 7, and then that is definitely 4. All right, and now we'll just summarize it for whoever is scoring this. So since the limit from the left of g of x equals the limit from the right of g of x, equals the value of the function. Um, g of x is continuous at x equals negative 3 uh, by definition. And that's what we were asked to show. All right. So the next part is uh, actually just a definite integral. It's, kind of, it's a u substitution. Um, so I'm going to do it two different ways. Uh, in the first method, I'm going to balance things out. So uh, if u was 25 minus x squared, then du would be negative 2x dx. So I need a negative 2 on the inside, so to balance that I put a negative 1 half on the outside, 0 to 5, and now I'm putting the negative 2, so I have negative 2x, that's my du, and then 25 minus x squared to the 1 half dx. And now it's uh, set up perfectly, so what I can do is uh, negative 1 half, and then plus 1 to the exponent, so uh, 1 half plus 1 is 3 halves, so the reciprocal is 2 thirds, the quantity 25 minus x squared to the 3 halves, um, and then evaluated at 0 and at 5. So that's going to be negative 1 third, simplifying those fractions. If I plug in 5, I get 25 minus 25, which is 0, minus when I plug in uh, 0, I get 25 to the 3 halves. So the square root of 25 is 5. If I cube that, I get 125, so minus 125, and then that simplifies to 125 over 3. All right, so that's how I would do the problem, but you might like actually showing all the steps for u substitution, so let's do that. Um, so u is 25 minus x squared. du is negative 2x dx, um, which means x dx is negative 1 half du. If x equals 0, um, then u is equal to 25, because u is equal to 25 minus x squared. And if x equals 5, then u is equal to 0. And now I'm going to do all my substitutions. So um, I'm going to substitute for uh, 
25 minus x squared to get um, u to the 1 half. I'm going to substitute for x and dx um, with negative 1 half du. And then I'm going to replace the 0 with 25. And a little a weird thing is happening here. And I'm going to replace the 5 with 0. So what happened was now the lower bound is bigger than the upper bound. So I'm going to have to flip that and change the sign. Um, so the negative with the 1 half cancels out with the negative from changing the bounds. And we get this. So now we just plus 1 times the reciprocal and evaluated it at 0 and 25. And we've already done all this math. So uh, that's 125 minus 0. 125 over 3. Get the same answer either way. It's up to you which one you try to uh, use. Anyway, I hope this was helpful and good luck.